I'm Lynn Prouse-Bishop and this is The Virtual Business Show. Rising fuel costs, interest rates going up, returns on investment going down, dire warnings about the economy sliding into recession. In this episode, let's talk about whether your business can survive a recession. I recall in 1990-1991 when then Treasurer Paul Keating described the situation we were in as the recession we had to have and interest rates topped around 18%. Thirty-odd years later, it's clear that there's been a slowdown in the Australian economy over the last year or so, and predictions are another recession is coming. In the current economic climate, many business owners begin to worry how they're going to survive this slowing economy. Generally speaking, there are two options, cut expenses or increase your revenue. It's hard to increase your revenue if demand for your product or service reduces, since people tend to react to warnings of a recession by tightening their belts and spending less. So many business owners choose the first option and begin to rethink their expenses. If you're going to stay in business, the best way is to reduce your overhead. Makes sense. Reduce the amount of money going out, whilst maintaining, if you can, the amount coming in. One of my own clients, consultant David Ogilvie, says though that blindly cutting costs is often a strategic mistake. The biggest overhead for many businesses is the cost of staff, and if you aren't aware what your on-site staff are costing you in real terms, have a listen to episode 58 of the podcast. But how can you stay in business if you don't have adequate staff? One solution is to outsource your non-core administrative tasks to a virtual assistant or remote secretary. Episode 60 at the podcast goes into much more detail about what a VA is and what we are not, including a bit of a list of the things that we actually do, so I won't go into it again here, just check that one out in the archive. But to recap, virtual assistants are independent business owners who provide secretarial and administrative services to clients, usually from a home-based office. They're contractors and will charge an hourly rate or per project rate, invoiced at regular intervals, the cost of which is fully tax deductible. Since the VA isn't an employee, clients aren't responsible for the traditional staff on costs of superannuation, leave loading if applicable, time in lieu, workers' comp and payroll tax. So whilst the hourly rate of a professional experienced VA will appear quite high at first sight, it can actually end up costing the business significantly less than on-site staff when those on costs are factored in. Additionally, the VA will only work when required, so clients pay only for time spent on task and not for time taken for cigarette breaks, lunch or chatting with office colleagues. If the economic climate is really biting hard and you have to relocate to smaller premises, a VA is a great solution because you don't need to provide them with equipment. Working from their own home office, there's also no need for you to provide space, lighting, furniture, power, internet and telephone. By rethinking the way your business handles its administration, there may be an opportunity to retain a core team of admin staff and outsource the remainder to a VA, or even more than one, saving the associated on costs. In this way, you can keep your business running through the difficult times until things pick up again, at which time you can either continue the VA partnership or build your staff levels again. The alternative to cutting back on staff is to increase their productivity. VA can help you in this regard too. Personal assistants are required to do more than just type letters and make coffee. Many are instrumental in the running of the business, scheduling appointments, arranging sales calls, fielding customer complaints, arranging travel, juggling multiple diaries. Outsourcing those tasks that your personal assistant doesn't have time for, things like dictation, document formatting, mail-outs, report preparation, presentations, emails, setting up online meetings and sales calls, can free him or her up for helping track down new business, research leads and other revenue-generating activities, while still enabling the day-to-day workflow to proceed. A VA can handle a great deal of the projects in-house staff would normally look after. Many VAs assist their clients with bookkeeping, internet research, corporate travel, looking after customer mailing lists and mail-outs, website maintenance, marketing activities like gift purchases for clients, arranging holiday cards and gifts, handling customer orders, including processing and shipment, as well as personal tasks like booking holidays, researching better insurance deals and reminding clients of important dates. If you have sales staff on the road, you can increase their productivity by having them utilise the services of a VA. 
Instead of waiting until they return to the office and inputting data themselves, the sales team can be dictating follow-up notes on the fly using either a dial-in system or digital voice recorder for transfer to the VA who can then input the information directly into an online database or customer relationship management program like ACT or Less Annoying CRM. By utilising the services of a professional VA, your business stands a good chance of surviving in difficult or uncertain economic times without the need to lay off all your staff, overload existing staff, or wind up doing all the work yourself. When a recession is on the cards, another key way to ensure survival is to step up your customer service. If demand for your service or product has gone down and you can't or don't want to cut overheads and or staff, then ensuring you provide stellar customer service to ensure your existing customers keep coming back to you is another way to survive these uncertain times. I speak often on the importance of excellent customer service, so check out the show archives and upcoming shows for more on this topic. I'm Lynn Prowse-Bishop. Thanks so much for listening. 